My dears, how are you? My name is Asnake Halo from Ethiopia. I'm a physics lecturer at Awasa University. Today we're going to deal about kinematics problems. But before that, at least you have to know three very important things about kinematics. So as you know, kinematics is a branch of mechanics and it never bothers about the causative agent of the motion. That means our headache is about the motion only. In such a case, we may be bother about this displacement, about acceleration, about the velocity, about the time taken, not about the force. And that's a very really important thing. While we are talking about the, what we call the motion, we have to know or we have to choose our frame of reference. To choose the frame of reference, we have to know that frame of reference should satisfy the first law of Newton or Newton first law. What Newton first law says? If all objects at rest, or if an object at rest, it will remain at rest forever until a balance reverse act upon it. Yeah? And then, or if an object moving with a partial velocity, the object takes with that velocity until a balance force act upon it. If something satisfies Newton first law, that could be as, as a frame of reference. That's good. Now, now solution. What he says, the particles P and then particle P and particle Q at the same initial position accelerate this uniformly from rest along the straight line. After one second, P is 0.5 meter ahead of Q. So this is a separation of P and Q. After two seconds, from the starting, correct. Look, my dear. Now let it be, this is here initial position, let it be, this is position P, and then this is position Q. Let it be, this is position A, as, this is position A as well. And as, look, we know that, we know that distance of P is equal to initial velocity times time plus half it is k, but you have to say p here. This is the initial velocity of particle p. This is the acceleration of particle p. So the same thing holds true in the case of what you call particle q. And then you have to say v of q yes, times time plus half times a of q and then it is k. But both particles start as from rest, both particles start from rest, and it is V of initial of P as well as of V of Q should be a zero. That's, that's my dears. S of P becomes a times A of P Q square, and then and then S of Q is equal to half of a of q t square but the time is given yeah but the time is given after the time after one second p is ahead of sq by 0.5 that's scp minus s of q is equal to 1 over 2 uh -huh. a of p t square minus 1 over 2 a of q and then t square which is just Check out the common thing is that is 1 over 2 uh -huh. AP minus AQ and then scale of this. This is completely equivalent to waves. 1 over, one over 2 AP minus A of Q and then scale of this which is equal to 0 0.5. Let it be this is equation 1. But look. This is at t is equal to one second. At the end of two seconds, just insert t. I need one in terms of t, and then it becomes, and then eliminate both sides by two, and then it becomes a p minus a q, which is equal to 
one meter. One meter. This is the equation, so I mean what? So the same principle is true. We requested the distance between the particle P and the particle Q at the end of two seconds. To do so, what we have to do? We have to follow the same pattern. X of P minus S of Q at end of two seconds. S of P minus S of Q is equal to one over two. And then, and then AP minus A of Q, and then scale of T, we don't know. But guys, guys, 1 over 2, but we know the value of AP minus AQ from equation 1, which is 1 meter. And then, just to substitute the value of 2, we requested the distance between uh, the distance between the particle P and the particle Q at the end of two seconds, just substitute two seconds and then scale it, it becomes 4 S scale. Ah, uh, this is meter S. Yes. Great. Great. Yeah, yeah. Just a substitute. I uh, don't worry for the units. So it should be at the end a meter. So one times four, four over two, it becomes two meter. So the separation between P and Q at the end of two seconds becomes two meter. Great. Thank you. Please subscribe, like, and put your comment. Thank you for your watching.